you might have heard of these new gen colleges coming up. But one name among them is most popular. हमने कई टाइप के कॉलेज रिव्यूज इस चैनल पे किए हैं लेकिन मुझे किसी की इतनी डिमांड नहीं आई जितनी इस कॉलेज की आई है स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टूडे पीपल इन दिस केस स्टडी ऑफ स्केलर स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आई बींग स्टूडेंट देर विल लेट यू नो एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट स्केलर स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड यूल गेट आंसर टू ऑल योर क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू प्लेसमेंट इंटर्नशिप इट्स क्रेडिबिलिटी डिग्री एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा Also, we'll be talking about the shocking figure of more than 92% of internship rate, and finally, my opinion on is it worth the hype or not, or why it looks too good to be true. But before we start, I would like to clear that this is not at all a sponsored video. This is completely based on my two years of experience here and the research which I did while I was searching for colleges. First things first, let's talk about the problem statement which SST is trying to solve. So people you might have heard of our Indian education system to be considered as outdated. And as a result, you might have also heard this very famous word brain drain. We've been reporting that the desire to study abroad post class 12th seems to be spiking. And various reports says around 13 lakh students left India to pursue their degree outside. And if we talk specifically to the tech industry, then people, India produces around 25% of total global engineers, which is one out of every four engineers. And this is because we have 2,906 engineering colleges with approximately 15 lakh seats. And therefore, we as a nation produce 1.5 million engineering grads every year, which makes India the highest producer of engineers. But people, at the same time, you might have also heard this infamous statement that 70 to 80 percent of Indian engineers are unemployable. And there comes the million-dollar question: that if the seats are enough, if the institutes are enough. then by the hell engineers are unemployed so people there are three major reasons for it the first one is the curriculum and hands on experience now i know you must have heard this word a lot but just stay for next one minute in this rapidly changing world of tech majority of colleges are still teaching what they used to teach 10 years ago and their curriculum also includes subjects like physics and environmental science which are actually good but not very much relevant to computer science and one more thing that exams in those colleges still happen on pen and paper for a subject like computer science and therefore majority of colleges focus on theoretical part of tech rather than practicality the second reason is faculties the faculties in these colleges are majorly phd holders which is amazing and i respect that but a slight problem here is that although they have mastered their subjects by giving decades but most probably they haven't got a chance to get proper industry experience and therefore they aren't very much updated about the trends and patterns which are currently going on in the tech industry the reason number 3 is mentorship and this is the biggest problem with majority of colleges that there isn't a proper system where student can get mentorship about his career about the specialization he wish to pursue and about the needs of the current tech market but you might ask hey suryansh if things are that bad in engineering colleges then how on earth are students able to crack packages of lakhs and crores well actually the same question came in my mind when i got to know about this reality and therefore i watched tens of podcast of the people who actually got these packages and here are three main things which i observed firstly majority of them have used some or the other kind of online course or free resource on internet with intense discipline to upskill themselves then by themselves they became part of various tech communities and events where they can get mentorship guidance and networks and lastly they applied all their knowledge by building various projects doing internships and taking part in various hackathons which gave them proper hands on experience and by doing all this my dear friends they ultimately made such a strong portfolio for themselves which hiring managers love so in this way around 70 to 80% contribution for their placements was by students themselves but people if they are not from tier 1 college then even if they are able to make strong profiles with self discipline still they often struggle to get reference not because they lack talent but because they lack access and hence 
they typically struggle to get jobs. And looking into this problem, some engineers from Google, Meta, and Amazon who were already running an online education platform for working professionals called Scalar from last five years came together with a solution. They thought that what if student could get industry guidance, hands-on experience, and mentorship in his four years of college itself. And then, my dear friends, there came the idea of Scalar School of Technology, a college where the curriculum was updated. The instructors were experienced both in their subjects as well as industry, and mentors were from top MNCs like Google and Microsoft. However, there was a problem in implementation of this idea, and that problem was BTEC degree. According to the norms, they have to follow certain guidelines in order to give BTEC degree and due to which they weren't allowed to do the customization in the curriculum and teachers the way they wanted. So they thought that if they too decided to offer a BTEC degree, they'll become just another engineering college like the thousands of others in India, which is the very problem they wanted to solve. So the answer was clear. They'll remain an independent institute and focus on cutting edge industry relevant curriculum. And students joining can enroll themselves into UGC recognized BSc degree from Bits Pilani or IIT Madras. Now we all know that it's easier said than done. Therefore, I'll let you know being a second year student here that were they able to fulfill what they promised or not. And believe me, I'll be 100% honest because you coming to this college has actually no benefit to me. But you taking the right decision is a mutual benefit for both of us. So we'll be taking mainly three points. First is the curriculum. In last 1.5 years, we have been taught complete DSA, WebDev, Mernstack, DBMS, String Boot, HLD, etc, etc. And currently, we are studying machine learning. So as far as curriculum is considered, it has been well taken care. Secondly, coming to mentorship and hands-on experience. So mentorship is given in four ways. First one is through the system of Bad Success Managers or BSMs and DAs. These are like our seniors and mentors who live with us in our hostel and help us in doubt solving and mentorship through personal guidance, extra sessions, etc, etc. The second way is through one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So each one of us has been assigned a mentor who is currently working in the tech industry with whom we can schedule a video call few times a month and ask all our doubts. Third is through AI or what we call it as Scalar Companion. So it is basically an AI chatbot which is 24-7 available on our dashboards and helps us through our assignments. It do not tell us the answer directly, but through hints and all, it forces us to think in the right direction. Fourth and final way is through super mentors. So top tech leaders like Amod Malvi sir from Udan, Balaji sir from Google, Rajan Anandan sir from Microsoft comes to our campus in every one or two months to guide us through their experience. And also we can ask the questions which we have. Now coming to hands-on experience. Since most of our assignments are projects or interview questions, so in that way, hands-on experience is also well taken care. Additionally, many hackathons and contests are hosted in the college for that matter. Lastly, talking about the outcomes, placement steps or internship steps. So after all these changes, Suryansh, what were the outcomes? Were you guys able to secure good placements? Well, actually, as I told, I'm currently in my second year. Therefore, it'll take two more years for the first batch to pass and the first placement data to be out. But I can tell you what happened in the last two years. Many of my friends have cleared ICBC regionals, which is also called as Olympics of Coding. And many have built their own startups and won several hackathons. And now let's talk about the figure of 92% of internship rate. So yes, this is true, more than 92% of my batchmates, including me, have secured paid internships in various tech startups and companies like Swiggy and Zomato. And even few of my friends have secured international internships in Singapore. And yes, most of these were on campus. Now people, I know you might feel that this is too good to be true. But it's not just you. Majority of people, especially on Reddit, feel the same. And that's why some people also call it a scam. But when we ask, why so? They say that everyone on internet is just telling the pros of this two-year-old Nugent college, which is very hard to believe. And that's completely right. So people, let's discuss some of the challenges or cons of Scalar School of Technology. And after that, I'll let you know my perspective of should you join this college or not. By the way, I have already discussed these cons in a bit more detail in this video. So you can check it out later from the description. So basically, there are three major cons. 
but those are very subjective first one is the small size of the campus small to organize grand sports or cultural events second con is the high fees as mentioned on their website the fees is on a higher side which makes it difficult to afford for a low income family although ssc provides the option for financing and third con is something which every organization has to deal with and that is management or logistical issue since things are also new for them therefore issues in managing and arranging events exams and timetable used to occur but they do take feedback seriously therefore these kind of issues have been reduced so this was the summary of this new age college giant and before telling you whether you should join it or not if you have any other doubts you can ask me directly in the comments and i'll also try to include it in my upcoming q and a video which is releasing just after few days okay so is it for you or not first let me tell you for whom it is not if you already have cs in tier 1 colleges like iit stop nit spits etc then i would suggest better to go with that secondly if you are aiming for a btech degree and lastly if your family's financial condition is not good now for whom ssc is if you are seriously interested in tech If you have a decent hold in maths, because for sure it is gonna be used in computer science a lot. And lastly, if you have strong self-discipline, because you might feel overwhelmed with the curriculum and academic at a certain point, but you have to keep going. Now, if you are interested in this college, you can give their admission test by clicking in the link in description or in the pinned comment. And for resources for preparation, just comment down R E S.